Here's Bosher to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. type of a guy. Now, as a defensive end, how about the speed that he used to get into the backfield and make the play? So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Gabriel, the man in motion. On second down. All right, so we got Mo and Spot Me playing. That catch good for five. It's third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage in your tight end on that one. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Gabriel, the man in motion. Talk about right there. On third down, Ryan. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. We're on the corner. We're on Owen Drive. We're on East Mount Drive. We're on Owen Drive. You go right out to 301, you take the left, there's Owen Drive. Talk about when you go out to the right. First down, Ryan. That's 301. Going underneath, it's Coleman. Yeah, call it a one yard gain yeah, of the play, yeah, yeah. and that'll make this so a second down. Now, with yeah. well, everything here, we're going to get a timeout <laughs> by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here. We're in the Coliseum. Gabriel, the man in motion. Ryan will throw again. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Never good on a there completion there to right go there. the wrong way. It's from yard. here to there. No, for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't there it? We are. In Look. this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized. Executed well, and you've lost right a lost yard in play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. And this is Gabriel on the catch. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Gabriel, the man in motion. Here's Ryan to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So out come the Falcons now. Shift together here from the D-line. Gabriel, the man in motion. On first and ten, it's Ryan. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And got his man complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged, because now 
They know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. He completes it to Julio Jones. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Jones now in motion left. Now it's Ryan. Drops it off for Coleman. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Gabriel demanded motion. Now it's Ryan. And Robinson with a big catch. They give him 12 yards and a first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They run. Devontae Freeman. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Ryan keeps, and he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Matt Ryan scoring on the sneak from a yard out. Now the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback. <laughs> takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. some space up to about the 25. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Offense in a good spot here. Second and two. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. But we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. And the back goes into motion. 
Val Ryan on first down. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. A little lull in the action here to go over an offseason storyline. It's kind of interesting. L.A. a couple years ago, they have no teams, and now they're going to have two with the move from San Diego to L.A. What does that mean for the league and for the Chargers? It seems like an easier transition, doesn't it, than St. Louis when they move back to Los Angeles? Less culture shock. <laughs> less culture shock, less, you know, obviously geography, the whole deal. But it's a transition that still is not going to be easy. Remember, they're going to go play in a soccer stadium, essentially, mm -hmm. for at least the first couple of years years before they share a stadium with the Rams so that changes things obviously trying to create an identity in the market they haven't been in in a long time they began as the Los Angeles Chargers but only played one season as such on third down that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there they go play action here on first down Caught on the right side by Jones. What's up, Cecil? Who has the ball and who gets bought half? Uh, who has the ball? Um, let me see. He always opens things up for other guys, doesn't he? He does, and that's what's benefited Atlanta's offense. It's about me gets bought in half. So that would mean uh, Mo is back on the on red. Hey, Cecil, shut the hell up. I'm the fucking streamer, all right? I'm in this. And you want to get the ball to him as much as possible. For so many years, I was convinced it was a myth. You know, because you always hear about... My name's not Clyde either, dumbass. Like, it's lost. You can't find him. And sometimes I'm tweaking. that's part of his genius. I love you, Cecil. But it's true. You get behind big offensive linemen. The defensive line guys... Now, hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout so called. So, Spot has the ball. What's up, true boy? And with that, they're now out of timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. So spot Possible is. They said Spot gets ball at half. Talk to him, Clyde. Hell yeah, Colin. We got it. I'm keeping y'all straight. Y'all forget this is my chat room. I can end the stream if I want. I might Couldn't get fired, but I can end it. Sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they, they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it. And don't Where's Bonnie? Bro, who the hell is Bonnie? Ryan on the handoff. <laughs> <laughs> Young Cecil, don't tip me, bro. I seriously will. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside. All in this no whole success. goddamn tournament. Yeah, I'll take it to 20,000 home. Out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there, and just ran him down. Halfback set in motion. Uh, I, I'm gonna guess Mo is uh, white. On third down, Ryan. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones. 16-yard touchdown, and the Falcons have taken the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have it, you use it because he's a guy. Okay, so Mo is on the line. Okay. I don't care what the coverage is. So Mo gets the ball. It's Bosher to kick it away. Oh, Mo gets the ball now. Never mind. Bro, I don't know shit about this game. Let me stop talking. <laughs> Bro, y'all don't know anything. Munchies, you don't know anything. Han Solo, shut the hell up. Honestly, Sonan, I'm ready to go the fuck home. I'm ready to get my Popeyes and go home, bitch. No, you don't, Sporty. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Sonane. Clyde the bitch, goddamn. 
my 20 or 15. He won't complain. Get it. <laughs> oh, okay. I get the Bonnie and Clyde now. I never. <laughs> I didn't get that at first. <clears throat> Jack City, why are you still here? Don't you got something better to do? You honestly could be doing anything else and it'd be way more productive than being here. On second down, here's Ryan. Complete to Jones. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face their down. Han Solo, nobody is fucking talking to you, bro. Brackets, we had to remake them uh, since um, not everybody that said that they were going to show up showed up. So, having to write them down, or basically at the beginning, we had to remake the whole thing. Man, y'all stop betting in here. I don't want betting in my stream. Fuck no, we're not supposed to be professional. I do what I goddamn want. Nah, I'm not cussing, man. If y'all say I'm cussing, I'm gonna say y'all lying. Did Caleb Woods bluff y'all? What? I don't even know who the hell that is. We better snitch. Hey, my name's Clyde. If y'all trying to snitch. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Falcons' offense. They get no, this is a secret here. Turn. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing. Caleb Woods. Let me look him up real quick. Time do you try something? You're thinking about just starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game, but you got to figure if something goes wrong. Bro, Caleb Woods is a nobody. Literally nothing came up. Literally nothing. It'll be a gain of four. And it's a second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Gabriel, the man in motion. Prize is 20K. On second down, Ryan. And the hit turn it loose. It's incomplete. I don't know who he is, so he must be a nobody. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Clyde, you're a nobody, bitch. God damn, you got me. Let me go home and fucking hang myself. Like, uh, what's his name, did? See, that nobody? The singer of Linkin Park? I honestly should just kill myself. Damn, who put up 20k? That's the shit with 18 on the corner. Uh, it's a surge production. They're putting it up. Draco, you are the most legit. I do agree. Looking to 
jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looked defensively. Freeman, the lone man in the backfield. They're going to give it to him, run it right. And a cutback. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. And Freeman, not sure if he was a surprise exactly, but he sure took the NFL by storm. So when you talk with his team, they'll tell you they saw this coming. They knew he had the talent. They were just ready to turn it <coughs> on a full-time basis, and he took full advantage of it. And now one of the most electrifying players in the game today. No game there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Perfect so camp milk. Two, Whatever that means. Well, what do you think I want here? That's ball game, folks. I don't know. He could come back. I think that's a comeback. Don't y'all? Touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. Ooh. Ooh. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26 yard line. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's yeah, it's double yard. Possession on. of the second half now. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they Bro, can you? I have been awake since 8 o'clock this morning helping with this. It is 5.22. On a work day, isn't that? Aren't you supposed to go home by now? Maybe it's 6. I don't even know. Yep, 8 a.m. <laughs> God damn, Cecil, you're just coming for my life. Gabriel, the man in motion. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Looking deep downfield. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Every offensive coordinator. Every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they dropped it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Flushed out right. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And now they're in the hurry up. So what's everybody having for dinner? And he motions the wide receiver. It is spot me and Mo that is playing right now. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards. And it'll make Cecil, you're about to get out of here. I'm gonna fucking ban you. Damn, man, and you're having my mom for dinner? I feel you. Let me hop in. My wife for dinner? Well, she left me. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Looks like the defense impressed. Is that a challenge? Yeah, this this is already over. Uh, it looks like it, yeah, it's Joel and, um, oh man, that's Cecil. All right. And Jones has it over the middle. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first to goal. They'll set a receiver in motion to the right. Here's Ryan to throw. And is this it? It's intercepted. Picked up by Ron 
Sorry I had to give it to him. So anybody else want to test me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 